in the previous episode, we managed to finish the chunk with catching a shark, cooking a shark, catching a big shark, and then we rolled three new chunks. We have arrived in Sears Bank, and in the last episode, I forgot to tell you that at around 3,300 sharks catched, we managed to get the big shark. So we have started woodcutting. We have already level 11, and we are just grinding these normal trees away. So we don't need to dust them again. We need to get fletching and farm making high enough so we can start doing oaks. I made a sheet of chunk goals we need to do f to complete this task. It's 40 defense for wielding a U shield. That's pretty much the same as magic shield. I don't know why it says U. It should be magic in my opinion. But they all have the same defense requirement, so probably it's just random. But 99 fire making and fletching to buy the fletching game and the fire making game. 55 magic to get the high alchemy. 75 woodcutting, chop a magic lock. Then elemental workshop one until step two. Play the church organ in Sears church. Defeat each elemental in elemental workshop. Buy a stew from the Sears pub. Then for collection lock, that's pretty much all the forestry, forestry uh, forestry items in the shop. There is just few that requires mahogany locks in this day that we don't have in this chunk. So these are just that. Then obtaining a corrupted kite shield is from another guy that we need to obtain. Then we need to obtain a fletching cape that's actually the trimmed version for prayer bonus. So it's best in slot for prayer. Then obtain a magic shield and obtain a staff of air and that's all the tasks and it's gonna be around I'd want to say 2000 hours long of a chunk and here we have to start it now there is a new forestry event that gives construction XP so I want to buy a house to be eligible to get the construction XP from those events. Here you see we have just started the fire making grind. I'm aiming to get 30 fire making so I can start burning willows and then 30 fletching or 35 fletching to get the do willow short bows or long bows. I don't remember which one was it. Long or short bow. Anyway. Fletching, I want to get that high at first because here is a fletching event that gives me fletching XP and it scales from the level you have. So, higher level I have, the higher amount of XP I get per event and the less I need to chop the logs. So, here we have started the farm making grind to get ready for the fletching grind afterwards. And this here means I can use Rune Axe if I had or I could get Rune Axe. God. So Forestry Part 2 came recently, so here are some new new events. This is an old one, but for someone who didn't know, here you are supposed to find two like pairs 
with the plugin it's really easy because it just marks them like this how you see it right now and well this gives some woodcutting xp and afterwards you get strange fruits and some seeds to plant so that would help me when i get like some fruit tree seeds with my farming grind it's I don't have to do a farming grind, but I have decided to level it up as high as I can in this chunk. And when I was doing the flower event from the previous clip, this just spawned in the middle of it and I like this a lot more. You just chop the tree or root that is marked. It, without the marking, there is like green shades and like that you get a lot of XP it's scaling from your woodcutting level. And it's really good anima bark event. You get really much anima bark from this. Also, here you can see we just got level 44 woodcutting and 375 total level. And pretty close after we got the construction event. So basically, the logs you have in your inventory or in the log basket. You just deposit the birdhouse, incomplete birdhouse, and you get construction XP. And after the event, you get some stack of woodcutting XP on top of that. So, I've got a master plan. I'm gonna buy the Twitcher's gloves. Well, I needed to buy them anyway. But there is a reason for this, this collection lock. There is a good reason I do this. It gives me a better chance to give the blue nests, I mean the nests from the trees, green nest, bird nest, and they have a chance to be glue nests. And if I get easy glue, there is reward black axe that would speed this grind hugely since my calculations would be that I'm around 25 to 30 million woodcutting XP when I'm done with this this chunk. So getting 25 to 30 million XP on bronze axe versus black axe is going to be a huge difference, like hundreds of hours. So I know it's kind of low chance for me to get the black axe and I have just two steps possible that I can complete on Caterpie Eticlus. And it's really low chance that it's one stepper because I'm never gonna complete the caterpillar steps in a row. Let's be real. And then I need to get the black axe. So the odds that I'm getting it is really, really low. But for the off chance that I get it, it would be amazing. So actually, you can use the leaves you get from the trees to cook fish. It's Food is not enough, it has to be fish. And you get forest rations. And when you put them on use in the backpack, you will have, I think, 20% chance when chopping a tree to restore 20 run energy. And that's really good with low agility with these events. So, the corrupted, corrupted guide shield. I can get it by having one oak lock and an empty while in my inventory and talking to sorry i don't know how to pronounce this pantu the to be foresight I, like honestly like who made it, made up this name anyway i need to talk to him with two these two items in my inventory somewhere here yeah this pantu the pants to be uh, no clue. Yeah, I'll give up. And he should be giving me the yes, corrupted kite shield. Yes, some good defenses, surprisingly. And come on, it looks cool. It looks cool. I'm not kidding. It's the fashion scape. Now we can tick off that task from the list and it's here 
now that's done also obtain a cape pouch we can do that because we can just go here and buy it a pouch done that's done too also there is one more thing we can do right away it's the diary task oh let's have this one yes amazing and let's play the organ and that's the diary task done we actually had one more easy task we could do straight away by talking to the bartender and what do you have can i have some stew please 20 coins and that's one more done and it's task nine i think yeah now we have enough anima and locks get is it lock basket i think yes here we have lock basket unlocked makes this grind a little bit easier but i can get 28 locks extra in the back so i don't need to bank all the time when i'm gathering the locks and now we can log off the log basket done i decided it's time to do the elemental workshop part one until the second step i actually think that we are able to do it further that these two steps is not like even nearly like the truth behind how many steps we can do i think we can do at least three steps but we will see and let's go downstairs so actually i got to do a few parts more like one two four five six six parts more i got to do and i'm stuck at the seventh you need crafting level of 20. But we got letter and needle from this quest. So I would want thread still, so I gotta make the pheasant outfit. But needle might be useful, and letter if I can obtain more letters from here. I doubt I can just get. I doubt I can get more than one. So it became time to sell. All the items we got from the fishing the big bass grind because well we need a lot of arrows because it's just gonna be so much easier to save spot the elementals in the workshop and we can get defense levels levels by using the long range option attack options when shooting the arrows so let's see how much gold from selling this We got a little bit over 11,000 gold. And now we are using 2,000 for now. Maybe 3,000 or something like that. Just to buy bronze arrows. Maybe 5,000. So we have some leftover money if we need it. It's just take a little hoping I can buy 100 per world. So take us to one each. If I buy more than 100, see? It's 100. One coin each, and now it's two coins. So I get 100 bronze arrows for 100 coins. Bra iron arrows are three each, so that would be a triple the cost for not that big of a difference in the range strength. So I think I'm just going with the bronze arrows for now, since our money situation is this. Like we are not, we have nothing to get more money at the moment later on i'm not spoiling anything we might get a ton more but for now we work with what we've got so here we have just bought 5000 bronze arrows that will last us a while and mikey is saying hello to everyone 
and we have started to kill other elementals. I need to kill each of them one time. Just one time for the diary tasks. And here we have just finished the task. So that means we can now click this off. And also we didn't do this earlier, so now we can click this diary task off to I just accidentally found out this save spot really randomly and just decided to show this to everyone. Like, you can actually save spot this. I kind of felt here a little bit, but well, it ended up working well. So, here you can see it just forces itself into the corner and we can just attack it without taking any damage. Of course, it might take a few to set, save one of this. These weren't a task for this chunk, but I decided to buy this anyway since they are in the shop. We can't use them or do anything with them, but I decided we might as well buy them and put them into the bank. This right here is the mulch event, my favorite so far. You need to, like you see this, R, for example, there are a few piles, randomly need to pick three in random order, this time is three in that R pile, so you just pick them and deposit, you get a good amount of farming XP, and I've gotten so many levels doing this already, it's fantastic. So I've been theory crafting here quite a bit and making some calculations. <clears throat> I will not go too deeply in this episode into the calculations, but since we need to get 99 fire making and fletching, we need to get, well, roughly two times 99 wood cutting doing it because wood cutting is the only means to get fire making and fletching XP in these chunks. So. What I've decided to do 99 fire making with most likely oaks and then cut willows and maples. Most of them should be maple logs to get 92 fletching. And 92 fletching because I will string the maple longbows into like finished longbows. But I don't have 10 crafting, so that would require me the lamp to level 10 crafting and that's fine I need to level up crafting later on anyway it just takes a while but I need to pick up over 100,000 let's say 100 to 175,000 depending what I decide to do is it maples or willows but that amount of flax and then process them into strings and then into the bows so that's a lot of hours and effort but I decided to do it because 92 to 99 fletching is halfway of 99 and I either can choose putting it putting the XP from the 92 to 99 the wood cutting it's an XP that doesn't do anything because I have 99 wood cutting at that point already so I've decided to put it on crafting instead so, it's gonna be a bit of longer grind, but when I open a furnace, I would have needed to get 87 crafting anyway, because I have chargers open and molten glass requires 87 crafting as soon as I open a furnace. So, I'm getting 82 crafting aboutish from this grind, we will see. But I also get best in slot range weapon, a magic short bow from this grind. And that is amazing because I need to kill most likely thousands of the elementals downstairs of the elemental workshop. And at this moment the best in slot I have is oak short bow and the magic just would be so much better for it. And the chunk straight left of us 
is ranging guild that also requires me to get 99 range if I roll that. So having a magic short bow would be would be really crucial. And we have I think we can buy rune arrows also from this junk like in the Caterpy arrow shop. I'm not completely sure can we buy is there any in stock but we might be able to buy rune arrows so the grind will be a lot better and easier and faster. But that's what I've been theory crafting here and in the next episode I will show the numbers of an hour, but it's gonna take roughly 2000 hours for me to finish this chunk. But more on it in the next episode.